Having lost our traveling companion to the villain known as connection issues, the team and I proceeded alone down the beaten path toward our first Team Star base. Just as Cassiopeia was about to explain our mission, we were greeted by Clive, a perfectly normal Academy student who asked to join the operation. After some hesitation, we let the Pompadour tag along before approaching the gate. Upon challenging the guard and sending him in a stupid helmet running back into the base, it was clear we were underleveled, so, waving goodbye to Charlos the Char Cadet, we set out to fix that. Some grinding and one more ancient evil ceiling stick later, and we were ready to storm the base. But what we didn't know at the time was that things weren't quite as they seemed. This is part 4 of the series, so make sure to watch the others first so you aren't lost. Also, if you enjoy these videos, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel to please the algorithm gods and to see future videos. Lastly, if you want to join us for this and more live and in the moment, head on over to my Twitch channel linked in the description below. With all that being said, what's up all you beautiful gamers? I'm ShiningwingX, and this is my Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke. And we'll see how this actually goes. I, I have no idea what this is going to consist of, but it, it is based around auto battles and then like a single, like, major theme. Anyway. Careful now, Shining. Team Star has a unique way of battle. They call it a Star Barrage. If Pokemon gets low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. Okay. Okay. Heads up, gang. Some jumped up kid has wandered in, has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't gonna be hard. And I know I can come back to Professor Cl I mean, uh, Clive, and uh, heal myself up. All right, bring it on. Go, Ganesha. Oh my god. Ikaro, she took some damage there. Okay, uh... Ikaro's defeated a Houndour, but just barely. Okay. Uh, this is weird. Can you not control how... Can you not control which Pokemon you send out? Okay, so it looks like you can throw them out and then, like... This is weird. If you could, like, swap which one goes out at a time, then that would be very good. I should probably go to the vending machine real quick. Or back to Clive, because I don't know. I might consider this part to be, like, just kind of like a... I think I'm starting to understand. You basically just send one of your Pokemon into a group and then, like, uh, go to another group and throw out another one. This should be good, though. All right. That's all done. All right, Jeff's gonna be the main player for the battle. That's that's for sure. Hydrate from the Kiki. The freaking car. This car is the, the, the this car is the weirdest thing about this team. What? Why are your Why are your leggings so huge? Boss of Team Star's fire crew, Mela. Let's do this! So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. Don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up! Bring it on. Blah! You're challenged by Mela of Team Star. All right, what level is this Torkoal gonna be? Leading with Ganesha, that's not ideal. Right here, right now, you're going down. The sunlight turned harsh. Okay, level 27, I think I can handle this. That means that Jeff's power is gonna be weakened. Ganesha might be what I wanna do. This music is actually kinda sick. And you're beefy, so I think that you should be able to handle it with your freaking continent on your head. Oh, you're faster! Well, I didn't do much at all. I really did not do much. This move will torch you till there's nothing but ash left! Flame wheel. <gasps> 
That was for the rest of the Shadar squad. Oh god. Okay, that did over 50 damage. I hope I'm not gonna get swept here. Uh, uh, it, it was always gonna be Jeff. It was always gonna be Jeff. I shouldn't have terrestrialized yet, and I know the sun, the sun is up. That's a big part of this. The sun. Is it flame wheel. I think Jeff takes this easily. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I need to do. I think I live a crit regardless, so I'm going to Aqua Cutter. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, I have to heal. I have to heal. Uh, wow, I was not expecting... I should have known. <laughs> it's not quite, it's not quite that time yet. It's not quite time for the fanfare just yet. Okay, the harsh sunlight faded, that's good. Okay, wow, the sunlight did that much? Oh, because it was a crit. That makes sense. Okay, the car. Melisin out, rev of room. <laughs> I ain't burnt to a crisp just yet. The car! Uh, I'm gonna protect. That, that's the best thing to do. I'm gonna I wanna protect and see what it does. What are you gonna use? Overheat. Does it still lose its stats? Speed boost? Oh no. I think Jeff can take it. Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, I have a plan. I'm gonna heal Jeff. I think that Jeff will be able to take an overheat. And you screech. Overheat's a special move. Come on, Jeff. Blazing Torque. Okay. That might have actually been a physical move. Oh, wow. Okay, it does 30 damage a pop. I can take it out in two more Aqua Cutters. But I have to heal. It absolutely kills Jeff this turn if I don't. Blazing Torque. I don't like being in crit range with this. Jeff has also been hit with a Screech. I feel like it's going to do Blazing Torque again. So... If I switch to Ikaros, he should be able to take a Blazing Torque. That will get rid of the defense drop on Jeff. Yep, there's the Blazing Torque. Oh, Flash Fire! Oh, does it only have Fire-type moves? I saw Overheat, and I saw Blazing Torque, and I saw Screech. If it doesn't have any- if it doesn't have any coverage moves, I just win. I just win with Ikaros. And he's Clear Smog. And you Screech. I don't know what that means. I'm using Clear Smog to get rid of the status changes. Um, I'm gonna switch back to Jeff. If it uses another if it uses Blazing Torque again, then I think I just win if I keep out Ikaros. It's gonna take a while, but- oh, okay, Swift. Okay, so I just- I- Super potion here, and then I think I just win. Two more aqua tails, will, or two more aqua cutters will do it. Overheat will drop its uh, will drop its attack power by a lot. I just win. Blazing torque. I think I even live a cr oh crap burn 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 burn. I don't like that. Oh, that's gonna make this take longer. Ah, oh, she's actually kind of smart. She's actually kind of smart. Oh my god, this is- this is tough! This thing actually has a lot of HP. It's raining now. Screech. I don't love that. I think I should just fight through the burn. Blazing Torque's gonna hurt. Ugh. Crit. Oh, that did nothing. I need Ikaros to come out here. 
and soak up some damage. It's raining. It shouldn't be like it's fire type moves should not be doing that much. Blazing Torque. Eat that. Wait, is Swift special? I think Swift is special, isn't it? So Screech doesn't do anything. She's actually smart, though. Oh, got rid of the burn! Let's go, Jeff! Okay, finish this off! Friendship! Let's go! Defeated Mela of Team Star, yeah! 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 How's your fancy car looking now? Ugh. Is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. About a year and a half- wait, what? Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. What? Oh my god, we're getting backstory? I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to, enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. <clears throat> Glad tidings indeed, is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? Oh, okay, uh, that's, that's a younger kid. As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Airy. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. Operation Star. As opposed to Operation Starfall. It's finally happening. And the big boss, what, pray, is their plan? Big boss? They've already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up! I burned through everything I had. And now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That fampy of yours really let it have let us have it. Uh, I don't think it was my fampy. Oh my god. <laughs> her her walk animation. Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. Aww! You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're a Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, one of the Char- Charlos! Oh, Charlos was her Pokemon. A Char Cadet? Wait. Woofoom! Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? Seems he came to the space looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Oh, <laughs> Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Are you aware of this? First I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. And what about that modified car you were motoring it around in just now? 
Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. We never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never... used it before? What's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Huh. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's all it's a memory we'll always treasure. Are Team Star the good guys? Is Team Star actually the good guys? Oh shit. What was that big fight about? They don't sound they don't sound like they're plotting anything against the academy. It almost seems like they were from that conversation it almost seems like they were trying to protect it. Am I being led on? Shining, it's me. It seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, a symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, didn't she? I see. Now there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shadar squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Oh, whoa. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Am I being- oh. Penny! So, is Cassiopeia not Penny? I thought she was. Now I'm not so sure. Hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember? But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. Y you know? The treasure hunt. I I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. Okay, maybe she is Cassiopeia. So, here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. What is going on here? And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about you and... All about how you had your t Pokemon charge into battle. I it seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Is she Cassiopeia and she's leading me on? Or is she being manipulated the same way? Because I'm, s I'm starting to think that this Operation Starfall thing is not good. Something tells me that te that there's more to this whole Team Star thing. I think that they're the good guys. I think that I'm the bad guy right now. After seeing that after seeing that little flashback thing, it doesn't sound like they're actually just troublemakers. They're eccentric, but it doesn't really seem like they're trying to hurt anybody. Weird.